So my name is Luke Steels, and I've been working in AI for uh, I think four decades. So uh, at the moment I'm um, uh, ICREA fellow, which is Institute for Advanced Studies in Barcelona. And um, well, I worked in many areas of AI in uh, knowledge-based systems, in uh, robotics, uh, but uh, my primary area is actually language, so language processing. And I've been involved in projects to see how we could have uh, a better understanding of language evolution. So the emergence of communication, and I'm doing experiments with robots to investigate that. Well. I mean, humane AI or human-centered AI it has many meanings for many people, so this is a little bit unclear at the moment. But for me, it means that uh, we kind of gain back from the, um, let's say, emphasis on mechanization uh, and on, on treating people like machines, basically. And so for me, uh, human-centered AI has to do with meaning, with, with the values in our society, but also in how we treat other people. So I've been very disturbed by the use of AI for manipulation, for getting their data, for you know, using AI in, in places where, in my opinion, it should not be used. And so I think with this project, I hope that we can correct some of the uh, kind of this, this uh, deviation towards using AI to dominate people and to, uh, to manipulate them rather than to help them, which actually was the original goal of the development of AI. So my Blue Sky project would be to bring together uh, the people in Europe who are working in the uh, arts, in design, in architecture, um, who actually have a tradition to build human-centered technology or human-centered objects. You know, I'm thinking of the, if you look at the Italian design of a lamp, for example, it looks uh, very simple, but actually they put a lot of thought in it and they think about the human use of it you know, and the context of it. And so I think we need to radically change uh, how we are dealing with AI. I think you can do fantastic things with AI, but we have to merge this kind of uh, way of, of looking at things, the artistic way, I would say, the human, you know, it's also in literature and uh, also in, in political science, to bring that together with the power of technology. And at the moment, the technology is completely in the hands of people that are mostly interested in money and in uh, manipulation and, and things like that. And we have to change it, you know, so that we, we can benefit from it.